Hey guys, Mr. Silver 2000 here and welcome to the channel. So, I have been seeing a lot of questions about this lately and it looks like a lot of it's coming from new players. And I just wanted to make this video. It's just my opinion behind, you know, this whole topic. But we're going to talk about the gray market a little bit, right? And the, you know, outside the RSI, ship sales, gifting ships, store credits, all that kind of stuff. And it's really just to give anybody who's a new player looking at coming into the game and they're seeing all these ships for sale outside the RSI store. And, you know, it's it's about the risk versus reward kind of thing for me, right? Because SIG doesn't really, I guess, condone it per se. They don't, I don't really see a whole lot they say about it, but... They are, how would I say this? They don't have your back if something goes wrong. And, and let me explain what I mean behind this, okay? The gray market. It's just my opinion behind it. It's just my opinion from my channel behind it. But if you're watching this and you're thinking about buying a ship off the gray market, just don't. It's just not worth it, right? So when you do some, when you buy a ship from somebody, they gift it to you that gift can be pulled back. Now, maybe that's not the legitimate people out there who would do that, but it can be pulled back, right? So you can pay $100 for any ship. We'll call it the Cutlass Black. The Cutlass Black is $100 on the RSI store. You pay 80 bucks for it. And you're thinking, hey, I saved 20 bucks. It's cheaper. Look, it's in my hangar. If something goes wrong and that person says, hey, my account got hacked and all these ships that I've had are gone, SIG is going to pull every one of those ships back. I've seen it done. I've seen it done many times and they will do it. Yeah, that ship that you spent money on, they don't care. They're going to say that due to somebody's account got hacked, they don't, they don't give you any real information behind it, they're going to pull it back. Not only are they going to pull it back, but let's say you took a ship that somebody gifted you and you melted it. Let's say you melted it for $100 and bought two ships for that one. They're going to pull both those ships back. They're going to pull whatever the total is, and they're not going to tell you what they're pulling back. They're just going to get their money that got transferred to you back. They don't care. They care about the dollar figure. Now, you're probably thinking, how's that going to happen, right? Well, let's say, I mean, if you see, a, let's say, let's call it an Andromeda. I see a lot of those go on sale, right? A Constellation Andromeda. In store, it's $240. And I see them all the time go on sale for $200, $180. You buy it, it goes into your hangar. Let's say that guy that sold it to you, he's been on the store for years now. He is a legitimate seller. Let's say he has something that happens in his life, a family emergency, something that is so dire that he needs the money back. All he has to do is go to SIG and say, my account's hacked, and SIG will pull those back. I've seen people say that SIG puts time limits and stuff on it. I, I'm telling you right now, I know firsthand they do not put time limits on it. Especially if it's somebody who's had that same account that's been on the store for a while, right? They don't care. They don't look at that account and go, oh, look, this person has been giving ships away for years. They, don't, they do not care. They care about the dollar figures. And they pull those back, give it back to the account. I'm not sure why CIG's policy is that on their store. I, I it blows my mind actually. I mean, a simple fix for this for this would be if you gift the ship, it's gifted. That's it. But I guess accounts do get hacked, and given the dollar figure on these ships, I, I guess they feel that's the best course of action is to help that person out by giving them their ships back. With that said. I've also seen firsthand that they can will actually even see that it's a scammer. I've seen a group of people go present information to SIG beforehand and SIG still pulls the ships back. 
again, they do not care. I'm not sure why they would do that. I'm not sure. I mean, that's like facilitating fraud, I would think, but maybe it's deep in their policies, their company policy somewhere. I haven't seen it or found it, but it's a terrible policy in my opinion, you know, especially if somebody's a backer and they present information that you bought this ship. But I think that's the idea behind it, right? They don't like the gray market. They don't want people doing the gray market stuff. You know, the gift thing is there for if you want to gift a friend a ship or you're, you know, you want to trade ships or something like that. I think that was the original reason behind the gift and probably why it's still there, right? You know, you got a buddy who wants to get into the game and you're like, hey, here's this package and you gift it to them and bam, they're in the game, you know, like just like gift cards or, or whatnot. If you're a new new player and you're coming in and you're starting to see gray markets, because you are going to see gray market stuff and people talk about it. You even see them talk about it in the chats and stuff, right? In game. If you're not prepared to lose that money, if you're not prepared to lose the $100 that you're going to pay for an Andromeda or $150 you're going to pay for an Andromeda, don't, don't do it. Because that money, I mean, snap of a finger, it's gone, right? It's... So if you're willing to and the re, you know the reward is greater than the risk for you then by all means if you've got the money to spend go for it but if you don't and you're a person who saves up and and waits and tries to find the best deal then that's the way you should do it Now now that I've kind of got that opinion and spill out of the way from the gray market. Let's talk about ways that you can save money on the store, right? On the legitimate store. CIG does sales all the time, right? They do two big ones, but I have seen them put smaller packages on sale even during the year. Maybe they don't have LTI tokens, but they do put packages on sale. I've seen packages for like $10 off, right? So let's say you're going to go for that Cutlass Black, that $100 Cutlass Black, but you want to save a little bit of money and you have the willingness to be a little patient. So you can buy a ship that's on sale. You can melt that ship and get the original full credit for it. So if you buy a ship for $40 that, that was originally worth $50 because it's $10 off, well, you still get the $50 credit when you melt that ship or you upgrade that ship. And that's the best way to do it. Just be a little patient, right? Be a little patient. Maybe you wait for two ship sales. You go, look, this ship is on sale for $10 off. Let's grab that ship. And then a couple months later, they do another sale. I don't have the outline but but you know behind when SIG does their sales, but they do do sales. Even for this holiday event that's going on right now, I think the Pisces is on sale for a little bit off. But yeah, so you buy a ship, you buy another ship for that's a, that has another discount, and then right there, maybe you have twenty dollars off. Now you just got that Cutlass for eighty dollars, and maybe one of those sales offered an LTI token during one of the big ship sales. You know, Invictus, the end of the year sale. It, it, there you go. You get, the, you get the discounts, you get it legitimate, it goes into your account, it was paid by with your credit, your money, and they are not taking it away from you. There is no risk there. The only risk is, is you being patient and waiting for the ships. And that's the way you just chain those discounts together. You just chain them, you know? I just did this recently. This is an example from me personally, what I did. I bought the cutter LTI package, right? I don't need another starter ship. I have a Titan. So the Titan and the cutter are the only two ships that I have. I don't have any big ships. I I want them. <laughs> of course I want them. But these are the only two ships that I have. And my plan is I'm going to upgrade to that cutlass. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that cutter because the cutter came with LTI. And I haven't seen the cutlass with LTI. Not lately anyways. So I'm going to take my, my cutter and I'm going to get my extra 5 or $10, whatever the upgrade you know is from the discount. And I'll get a little bit of money off the Cutlass Black. And I'll be able to get that Cutlass Black with LTI. 
I know I keep using the term LTI and that is lifetime insurance. Okay. There, there are a hundred videos out there that, that people have made over, you know, what the terms are and how to do all these change CCU change, which is, you know, cross cross chassis upgrades. There's a bunch of videos and, and maybe one day when I get into it, I'll make a video over it and go into complete detail over, over everything that you can do to chain these discounts together. Cause you can, you know, the right chains, you can get hundreds of dollars off some of these bigger ships if you do the chains right. But guys, that's my video over the gray market. Really, it's just the risk over reward. It can happen to anybody. Anybody can pull these ships back from you. I, I've seen it. I'm not sure what the comments are going to be on this video, but I'm telling you, they will pull the ships. I have seen it firsthand. So, you know, trust me, don't trust me. Take the video for what it's worth. Take my opinion for, you know, whatever you think it's worth. And I, I hope I've at least, you know, made you think about it, made you do some extra research on it. And yeah, that that's really the, the great market spill from my view. But thank you for watching if you're still here. Thanks for, you know, taking a look at my opinion. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything that everybody has done so far, all the comments and stuff. It's been great. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me if I'm bringing you some content that you're enjoying. And I will see you guys on the next video. Guys, just a quick disclosure statement on the end of this. You know, after kind of watching the video back, I don't want you guys to think I'm hating on SIG by saying they don't care. That was probably a bad choice of words for, on my part. It's just that I don't think we understand all the policies, all the internal stuff that they, they have that we can't see. And, you know gray market being a gray area even for them i would think is just you know a little crazy place to be right now so i fully support sig with their project i'm here i'm talking about star citizen i like the game i play the game i'm going to continue to play the game sig thank you for the game seriously it's you know you're on the verge of this thing going just crazy with 318 you get those bugs worked out and everything and it's going to be an amazing year for 318 there's a lot of content a lot of content that we'll even be able to make for ourselves just, just with that and the extra missions and the location so thank you thanks to sig thanks to the developers and keep up the good work guys appreciate it